Hey guys, Zully Jr. here. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial, so we're going to be doing one about advanced weapons. Kind of like the ones in Brutal Doom and Weapons of Saturn, with reloading and aiming. But we're going to be making a rifle, because that's a little more challenging than just using these shotgun sprites over here. So, first we have to change them to the main palette. Index color means it just uses the colors that are in the image, so you won't be able to add much, so change them to RGB, which is uh, basically all the colors. It's a simple way of understanding it, and it has transparency too. And we'll need to make the images bigger so we have more room to add stuff as well. I just control x it cut it, and we're going to paste it back in after making the image bigger. And now to the first one, layered image size. I'm going to make this back part a little longer. That should make it look a little more like a rifle. We'll also need to edit the sights, and maybe give them red dots just to make them look cool. I know a lot of sprites do that. And I'm doing shift control to move it like this. You have to click on a point, and then shift control. And there. That's a little better. And, uh, whoops. Let's just bring these colors back there so it looks expanded fully. Um, I also like this moving things out a little bit so we can do that too. Because this RGB option gives us a lot more colors we can add to it, a lot more shades, and the detail so we can make things look a lot better than originally. And we zoom in a lot more. To make things transparent when you're editing sprites, always use a color that you're rarely going to use. Don't use the eraser because it's going to be blurry. And at lower resolutions, you'd rather it be pixelated than blurry. Unless the sprites are moving and you want to add motion blur, which I will try to do if I have time. Although motion blurring shouldn't be too hard, it's just an option up here. Shouldn't stay on one spot too long. Let's expand this part a little. But we'll need to move the hands out a lot further, because the handle of an assault rifle well, the foregrip is further ahead than uh, the pump on a shotgun. That's a site already, but we can make a new one and a better one. At least for the purpose of making an assault rifle instead of a shotgun. And I think we can make it skinnier too. This this whole gun looks a little thick, at least in my opinion. Or we can just make it longer and it'll feel skinnier. We can do that instead. And instead of cutting it, I'm just going to copy it and use the white 
pencil to erase it. And this thing doesn't select until you click on something else. It's a glitch in the new version of GIMP, which I never liked. Although it actually it can be kind of useful, I'll admit. All right, now to the Great Purge. Move this back a little bit, and we'll need to shrink it but don't be tricked into using the scale tool. Remember, sprites get blurry when you scale them, and because they're already really small, we can't really do that. So let's just shrink it manually. And I'm just pressing shift to help make the line straight. Shift control brings it to an incremented angle. And just pressing shift will allow you to draw a straight line. see what we have so far and I think we can tweak it a little a lot that's what we have thus far still some tweaking left and then we'll have to move on Now let's erase this part again with the whiteness tool. Oh shit, that's the African tool. More Mexican. That looks more Mexican than African. And again, let's make this right smaller. And I guess we should move on to the sites now. Damn, this tutorial's been quite long so far. And it's going to be quite a few parts too because we're going to be adding code to it. And there's going to be a lot more code than in the last spreading tutorial I did when I was a freshman. And this black part is going to have a lot of transparency to it. We're just using it to shade it a little bit. It definitely makes things more interesting. Let's remove the hands and set it to multiply. And of course we'll have to tweak it along the way. Like with everything. I guess we should try overlay instead of multiply so we can add light areas to it as well.
and let's bring it to the image's size just so we have more room to edit Now let's get onto the barrel. And when you're using white to shade things, you want it to be really, really translucent. Because it, it brightens things really fast, as you can see. But when you're using black, you want to bring it up quite a bit. As you can see, its effects are not as dramatic, because most of the sprite is black. If this was a really bright image, using white wouldn't affect it very much, but using black would affect it drastically. And I think at this point I'm really just being a bit of a perfectionist. So let's see what we have so far. I think we can start moving on to the iron sights. And we can start it off easy, make it pitch black. You know, we should have made this uh, site on a different layer to make the editing easier. So let's redo it. And eventually we're going to have to add the shading to the site too. So bear with me. And I have an idea for making the site a little more visible. You can put some shading around it. I've seen that on some modern sprites, and it looks okay. And 
let's try and make it symmetrical. That usually helps quite a bit. I think we should add a grip up front here, and we'll add the stock back here, and it should look more like a rifle afterwards. I think we can move this part up, down, or this part up. I think we'll move it up. And it really looks a lot more like a rifle now, which is good. I guess we'll call it done now. Thanks for watching.